Hi guys. So I am back. Um, it's still Monday. It's still Labor Day. I am making um, Swedish meatballs with mashed potatoes for supper tonight. And so I am starting with the mashed potatoes in the Pepper Chef Quick Cooker. So I have um, I have cleaned up my potatoes. I peeled them rinse them off and I'm just cutting them into um, sort of some bite-sized pieces right two to three inches like this um, and putting them in here in the quick cooker um, this is going to be super easy so I've never made Swedish meatballs in the quick cooker before so that's going to be new but I want to get the mashed potatoes done first and I will get my inner pot cleaned up and get it ready for the Swedish meatballs part. So I will show you these potatoes and how easy this is. So I've got probably, I don't know, about, it's, it's half a tub, half a inner pot. Um, it's probably about three pounds, we'll say. Um, you just need to grab a half a cup of water that's all it needs half a cup you can put some salt in here if you want <clears throat> put a little salt not too much um, I washed off my my um, seal go I've got my vent shut I am going to do custom um, and I'm gonna do pressure it's going to be oops, sorry time is gonna be 11 minutes and pressure is going to be high that's it my potatoes are cooking and in 11 minutes after this comes to pressure, um, 11 minutes, I will bring you back and I will show you um, what we do next. All right, you guys, the 11 minutes is up. It came to pressure, hit the 11 minute mark. I'm going to just make sure there's no pressure left in here and there isn't. So I can take off my lid. Um, my potatoes should be beautifully done oh they're so soft they're fork fork tender see that fall apart perfect so now excuse me Abby I'm just gonna grab the basic ingredients for making some mashed potatoes I'm gonna put in um let's cancel i'm gonna mash them right in here i don't have to drain out the water because the water would have um evaporated when it was coming to um pressure put in some sour cream we want creamy potatoes tonight um i am going to sorry i was late that's okay Sophia's coming home from playing outside. I'm just going to put in some margarine. I didn't take out any butter for this for today. I was not planning ahead quite, quite enough. Um, and again, I don't measure this. I don't, I don't know. You guys need numbers. So I, I, um, I use Pinterest a lot. This is the Pampered Chef masher, so of course it folds to lay flat in your in your drawer, um, and then you can just kind of squeeze it together and um, move it into your masher mode. But I um, <clears throat> found a recipe on Pinterest, and um, I just adapt the recipes that I find to the quick cooker um, controls and knobs 
and uh, it makes life delicious. Um, let's hold this still here. These mash so easy, so, so easy. I am going to mash these up and transfer them. I might have needed a little more water. There seems to be a little bit of scalding at the bottom. Probably because of the amount of potatoes that I had, I could have used more like three quarters of a cup of water instead of just the half a cup, but kitchens are an adventure, so we will roll with it. Are you ready? Oops. Oh gosh. Mmm. Delicious. De delicious. So I am going to. Oh, Mike wants to taste test too. Let's see what he thinks. I think I'm gonna add a little more milk, actually. Well, that's good. They're good. They they have great flavor. A little bit dry. So I will just add a little more milk. But I am going to take my mashed potatoes out of here. I am going to put them into the insulated bowl because then I am gonna come and get you guys again, and I'm gonna show you this. Um, the sweet uh, Swedish meatballs that I'm gonna make in here um, I've never made this recipe before I just found it this morning on um, Pinterest uh, so we'll see how it goes mashed potatoes thumbs up 11 minutes no boiling water there is no water that boiled over onto my stovetop I'm making them like this every time. I hope you guys try it too. Thank you.